welcome to another episode of Epic Geek Out, the only show on the internet where Bioshock Infinite never ends. I'm your host, Chad. I'm your host, Rob, and today we are going to be giving our review of Bioshock Infinite. As always, you can check us out over at Twitter, at Epic Geek Out. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Epic Geek Out, and also check out the website, www.epicgeekout.com. But let's uh, get into our review of Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> So today we're taking a look at Bioshock Infinite. Uh, it just came out for PC, Xbox, PS3. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the next game in the Bioshock franchise, this time uh, kind of deviating from the underwater. A long underwater, time in the making. Um, to above the, the ground in the yeah. sky. <laughs> um, yes, a long time in the making. It's by Irrational Games. Um, and it's been in the making for years mm -hmm. now, but it's finally out. The proof of concept demo uh, premiered a couple years ago at E3. Mm -hmm but you know, kept getting delayed and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. So is it worth it? We're gonna find out. So <laughs> you play as a, an actual character this time. In the other two games, you were kind of a nameless mm -hmm. uh, player, like avatar in the game, so they didn't really have a, a character name for you. But now you're Booker DeWitt, who is a guy who is kind, kind of, of running noir, from a debt. Yeah, like a little bit in the real world. PI kind of. Goes to the, the land in the sky called uh, Columbia, is that correct? Col Columbia, yeah, yeah. I believe. Um, and you're trying to get this girl, who it turns out is a little bit crazy. She has some special powers and <laughs> yeah. some weird stuff that happens. Um, same sort of gameplay as the original two games. Um, instead of plasmids now, you have Vigors, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of your powers. Um, in one hand, there's some weapons, so there's some gunplay as well. But overall, uh, pretty similar sty um, stylistically in terms of gameplay, but uh, in, in terms of the world, it's very different, very, very. bright, vibrant. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think? We You played it on Xbox 360. I played it on yeah. that and also PC, because mm -hmm. I actually bought it on PC. So okay. what did you think? Yeah. Um, so we're giving this review a little late, and I feel like everyone has seen their reviews. I mean, this game is, mm -hmm. it's a Bioshock game, and it is, it's great. I mean, you know, there's not much to say that har already hasn't been said about this game. Um, the the world is the best realized world that I've played in that I can really like remember. Just feeling like this was completely new. You know, you're floating up in the sky, but it felt so real. Taking things that kind of taking like a Disney aesthetic, I feel, and putting it in there and making it creepy, especially with the girl. The girl, yeah. the Hall presidents kind of, yeah. uh, like, you know, level. Um, it, it felt like it could have been a Disney park, yeah. but then but so creepy at park. points. Um, the only thing that I can say really negative is I didn't think the graphics were tremendous on the Xbox 360. I mean, they were fine, and they fit what needed to be done, but I didn't think that they they blew my mind. Like, there were a couple of times where, you know, I was taking cover behind some crates, and it just mm -hmm. didn't look as textured as I would have wanted it to. But again, I love the story. You know, I didn't get a chance to finish it, but this is a game that I definitely want to go back to finish, which I think says is telling for a game. Yeah. Um, I played single player throughout the whole time, didn't get a chance to play multiplayer, but I wanted to see where the story evolved to. I kept forgetting to use my vigors, so it really was a gunplay game. I mean, I'm like, oh yeah, I can, I can shoot a fireball at that guy <laughs> or throw some crows. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> just cool. I love how realized this world is, and I want this to be a movie. I want this to be a movie or a mini series, even just to spend yeah. more time with it, because yeah. just the the feeling of that world is so great, and that's an accomplishment right there. So I mean, if you haven't checked it out and you're a fan of the series, you have to check it out. You know, definitely at least rent it just to play it and to see if you like it because it it deserves, you know, attention from people. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's a great game. Yeah, it's 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 great. I mean, that's all we can really say about it. But yeah, it's what made it so great was everything. I mean, yeah. I, I loved it. I I was playing on Xbox 360 and stopped, and I was like, I'm gonna buy this, so I might mm -hmm. as well just stop now because I wanted to buy it on PC just because I heard the graphics were different. And I actually, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's like the second time I did this, but I 
I used the Xbox controller with the PC, mm -hmm. and it was awesome because I had the the graphics. Yeah, the one great. thing I didn't like is switching between the vigors was a little bit more difficult than mm -hmm. it is on PC. Because oh, the other thing the numbers, the word that so. I just want to say is I hated the controls in the beginning, but then I just found a scheme that worked perfectly for me. Uh, and changed, yeah. after I changed it, I was in. Yeah. Like in the beginning, I was like, oh, I love this world, but I don't like the way the yeah. controller is laid out. And then I switched it, and I loved it. Loved yeah, it. yeah. So definitely switch it up because mm -hmm. like, there's different set like. Uh, sets mm -hmm. of controls that you can play with. Um, but yeah, I thought the, the graphics, at least from the PC side, were really awesome. So mm -hmm. that makes me excited for the next Xbox because I know it's like it's definitely lacking in, in yeah. a couple of games we've played lately. Um, so I really can't wait to see what kind of comes out mm -hmm. like of the next gen of you know consoles because I think it's going to be awesome. Um, I thought the controls in terms of gunplay were a lot better than the other games that I remember mm -hmm. from. Um, I don't know if you felt that. As far as like gunfighting uh, was better, I don't know. Um, you know, this it was hard for me. Like again, the gunplay. Right. I'm remembering the beginning part. You know, once I right. synced in, I think it was fine. So it, it took a little tweaking again. Yeah, for me, it's not so. your traditional like Call of Duty game mm -hmm. in terms of gunplay, but I thought it was pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, the story is completely engrossing. I love that you could just go off into like a corner of this world mm -hmm. and like something's happening. Like there's a guy talking, and you can kind of gather mm -hmm. that there's these. They had this in the first game, but like the the vibraphones or whatever they call them. The they're like yeah, basically yeah. like audio recorders you pick up, and they have a story in it. They have these little things you look into that yeah, have story. Um, Again, and that it. reminds me of Disney back yeah. in the old day when Disney yeah. had the Penny Arcade. You know, uh, they yeah. used to have yeah. them where you and it just. Some yeah. cool stuff. And mm -hmm. like the overall kind of way they create this world based on like the founding fathers and idolizing them, mm -hmm. I thought was awesome. There's like a cult based Because you're like, wait, John is that Lutz what they're booth. going for? Yeah. That is what they're, Super oh, okay, cool. okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So like that alone is awesome. But then on top of that, there's a really cool story. Mm -hmm. um, and you're really intrigued, want to know what's going on. In between kind of like levels and areas, it kind of flashes back to this like weird mm -hmm. thing that happens. So... Um, I, I think it's really just a well thought out story, and that's what's lacking in a lot of games. And Bioshock has always been good at that, having a really cool story. And the other thing is, um, you know, with this game is, you know, you do have your kind of companion, and in this, you don't have to worry about right. it, yeah. which is awesome. And you know, she's yeah. not running into bullets, she's not doing anything dumb. Yeah. She's actually like foraging kind actually of for good, you. Yeah. And, oh, you need ammo? Catch this. Yeah. Oh, hey, I found some money. Catch this. Yeah. Really I cool. love that. I thought that was such a great addition yeah. to the and game. And I thought her and whole power of, like, I don't want to spoil that for mm -hmm. anybody, but I thought that was really a cool, different kind of gameplay they mechanism. They could have went, it was a great different gameplay mechanism. They could have went into it a little more. And yeah, they could have explained it yeah, and stuff. But, but overall, like, really good. Obviously, it's getting critical acclaim. Yeah, it's, it's really great. Um, so make sure you check it out if you haven't. It's it's really great because it's like I said, a story based game, and I feel like those are so few and far between now. Yeah. Like even just we're kind of disappointed with the latest Gears because it's kind of just like a paint by numbers, mm -hmm. you know, Gears game, which mm -hmm. is awesome. But like I kind of want a little bit more story. Sure. To keep me playing the single player. And the only thing that I would say is the looting system is crap. Yeah. I mean it's it's, it's, a, it's a bunch pointless. of spamming, and I mean. <laughs> I wish that they, there was like a function, and yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there is later on where she could just pick up all the stuff for you because you picked up everything anyway. So yeah, like, there's I no mean, like inventory, so it's not really a matter I of really like caring too much, like having to make. You those can't decisions. equip some clothes, but like it's yeah, like, eh. but that's like one offs. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. go loot drawers, like in a room, but it's basically just run into a room, spam X, mm -hmm. and like. And so I thought that was it. pointless. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate because that kind of stuff is like. That's stuff that kind of took you out a little bit mm -hmm. of the game, whereas everything else... Literally, you were just hitting X and looking at different things. Wasn't even looking. Just uh, taking yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah. So that's Bioshock Infinite. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. I'm sure you have. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's awesome. It's Bioshock through and through, but, like, a really cool, vibrant world yeah. in the sky. You have to check it out. So that's it for another episode of Epic Geek Out. But before we let you go, we want to give some thanks for some awesome geek stuff. Rob, what's your thanks today? So for a lot of our video game reviews, uh, we have used the service from Redbox of their video game renting system. And you know we've mentioned Redbox before, and I think it's great for people to see and catch up on movies. And I mean, if you're responsible, it really, <laughs> yeah. a bunch of people can watch a movie for a dollar, which I think is great. And uh, I, don't, I just don't think people had really used it for their video game service. A lot of people were, you know, should I try this game? Things like that. And it's like two dollars. Yeah. Go rent it from Redbox and check that out. So I, I think people should be more in tune to the video game rental service because it's great. It's just like the DVDs. You know, you can go early, pick it up 9 a.m. on a Saturday, and you have over 24 hours, you know, to play the game and really, you know, and, and 
kind of maybe even beat some games, you know, that you wouldn't then have to spend the money for. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Saturday, so hopefully yeah, yeah, people no, do. Um, so, you know, definitely check that out. And also, um, you know, a little pro tip. Redbox has codes all the time online uh, for rental, so you can, if, awesome. if you want to save that $2 even, just type in video game code Redbox, and it'll give you a code to, you know, get it for free, too. So definitely check that out and, you know, rent some video games and play them. And yeah. if you have any suggestions, let us know of games we should yeah. check out. And pro tip number two, they have an app and also their website where yeah. you can see where a game is available or a mm -hmm. movie, and you can reserve it right there. So you, you know you're not driving to some place with not having the game. Agreed. You can check it, which is And then you don't have crucial. to be that awful person that's sitting there and looking through all the movies. Those people stink. <laughs> um, so reserve it before you get there and make sure you go to the right kiosk and get your game so I'm not waiting in line behind you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to thank a movie that I finally got around to seeing, which I wanted to see when it was out, but you know, it was out with like five other movies that mm -hmm. week, and so we didn't get to see it. But it's now on Stars or H, I think HBO actually, uh, Rock of Ages. Not a great movie by <laughs> any means, so don't take this as a yeah. you know, great recommendation for that. But as far as the music goes, I thought great music in this. In this. Uh, it's all like kind of classic rock like 80s era, mm -hmm. 70s, um, Journey, Cheap Trick, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and the way they tied into the story I thought was really clever and just a lot of fun. Acting bad, everything else bad, <laughs> but overall fun, you know, fun to listen to the music throughout. Um, and it's all really great music, so I thought, I thought it was worth the watch. You know, cool. It's, it's free if you have HBO, so yeah. check it out. Free things are good. So that's it for this episode of Epic Geek Out. Make sure you come back next week. we got some more episodes for you, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh,